Youth for Christ has been reaching youth with the great news of Jesus Christ in Fresno and Madera counties for over 65 years. Many lives have been transformed right here in the Central Valley through the ministries of YFC. Our future is absolutely dependent upon us reaching our youth, you know, that they choose good paths instead of um, the negative paths that they've seen modeled before them. Kids are making choices today now that leave them in dire straits, that leave them in, in very difficult situations. We know that the family is breaking down. We meet thousands of kids on campuses throughout Fresno and Madera counties who need loving adults in their lives to shine the light of Christ. Our club is important because it just sh it's a new light on this campus. It, a lot of people aren't really raised around church and this is a chance for them to actually come to it and there's a way, many ways for it to happen. And we basically uh, give out free pizza and when kids get here free pizza, you know, they come running. So we have basically people in our club come share testimonies to about 500 students. There was a lot of tears our first meeting. Um, people had a hard time just saying the things they've gone through and just sharing that with other people and realizing how Christ has come into their lives. Definitely, we've, we've had people um, who've never been in church before come in and we just show them Jesus and we just minister to them and we've had kids become saved through Campus Awakening. There is great ministry going on through staff, volunteers, and even student leaders on the traditional high school and middle school campuses. But with the changes in our culture, there's a great need to reach kids in juvenile hall, in group homes, continuation schools, teenage moms, kids in urban settings. We need to reach kids who lack caring adults in their lives with the good news of Jesus Christ. For over 17 years, we've had Youth for Christ coming into our juvenile hall and our boot camp. If it wasn't for the Youth for Christ ministry, I, there wouldn't be a ministry in our facilities right now. We've had ministries come and go, but Youth for Christ has been steadfast. You know, we're in this for the long haul. I mean, we're not going away. We are committed. We've been around 65 years. Um, and we, we see the impact. We see changed lives. Uh, we have adults today who, whose lives were changed. We know that there are young people who are being changed as they work with our adults. I believe Youth for Christ volunteers that come in, they show our kids how much they care. You know, in 1986 is uh, when I first heard about the gospel. I was in juvenile hall. I was in juvenile hall for nine months. Didn't get out of my room for, only got out of my room for one hour out a day. But they let me go to church. And while I was there in juvenile hall, I remember someone from Youth for Christ actually shepherded me the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's, that's my pastor, Pastor Tim, and this is my friend Josh. Just, you know, he's giving his life to Christ, and so kind of helping him out with that. My hunger for gang started go, growing bigger, and then I, I found that as a new family, because I, I was never home, my family, they weren't home, like, I felt like no one cared about me, so I found that as my new family. I had the money, I had the drugs, I had, I had everything that anybody could want, and in, 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 in this world, in this life, I was on my way to hell, but then I, I cried out to God, I said, I said, Father, I will no longer fail. I said, I'm using why, yeah, I have faith to live now, I have, like, I have a purpose to live. Kids choose gangs and gang lifestyle because they're looking for family. They're looking for a place to belong. And Youth for Christ gives them a different option. It's a lot easier to prevent someone from ever joining a gang than it is to rescue someone from a gang. Bringing the message of Christ and His love and um, helping them to understand that He can bring healing to them and hope I believe is the only, um, you know, hope for these children. And that's when I got involved hanging out with gang members. At the age of 14, I met a guy and I ran off with him. I mean, he was addicted to methamphetamine, so he was always in and out of his home. And that's when I became pregnant with my first child. I think I ran away with him about three or four times. And in those three or four times, I ended up in juvenile hall. We have a phenomenal group of volunteers. And these volunteers are, are selfless. I mean, they come in consistently and pour into these youth and love on these youth. They're willing to 
taken to church when they're released. They're willing to go to their house and meet their parents. They're willing to do whatever it takes to start the follow-up discipleship process in our youth's life. And hopelessness had finally kicked in. I just, I had no way out. And that's when I was sentenced to boot camp. And I felt like, oh my gosh, how could I get here? I never thought I would be here. And when I was in boot camp, it was a life changing experience. I mean, that's when it hit me. All these years I had just thrown away my life. And it was so lonely there. My mom and dad would never visit me. I think it took them like three months for them to visit me. I couldn't go on living like this my whole life running. I decided to, to talk to Brother Ron and Sister Julie about who God really was and what he could do. And if he could change them and he changed other people, if he could change me too. The Youth for Christ person who ministered to her um, brought the light of Jesus Christ into her life. And I think that made all the difference in the world for this girl. And then from that moment on, I decided that God had to be real. To, for me to have lost everything I had and to gain it all back in just a couple of minutes. And God had to be real. Now more than ever, Youth for Christ plays a key role in mentoring at-risk youth, giving guidance to a parentless generation, or providing a listening ear to young people who are overwhelmed with moral dilemmas. YFC volunteers and staff act as missionaries to the next generation, changing lives today, impacting our cities tomorrow.